It just feels like no matter how many chances I get, I always mess it up. That's not true. No? And what about me and you? If it wasn't for me, we'd probably still be together. Maybe even have another kid by now. What happened, happened. You were unhappy and that was my fault as much as yours. You should be wishing aid. Not sitting here listening to me feeling sorry for myself. She's so lovely. Yeah, she is. Look, Katie, it don't matter how it ended between us. I still care about you. I always will. How did I manage to go from someone as nice as you to someone like Callum? Because guys like that are going to be attracted to you. Look at you. But you can't go there again, you know that, don't you? But what if that's all there is in the end? Maybe that's just what happens to girls like me around here. Of course it's not. You've got people who love you. Job prospects. I just feel like one day I'll wake up and I'll be this middle-aged mum with a husband who drinks and I'll think I could have been somebody. It'll just be too late. I don't want that future for me and I do not want it for Joseph. You're not having second thoughts, are you? About Portugal, I mean. So, what would you like? Orange juice? Oh, what's going on? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> You'd never make a poker player. When I walked in there, you were like a deer caught in the headlights. Well, um, if you must know, I was looking up the wages list. What for? Uh, well, I've been underpaid, and uh, I was checking that Leanne had put me down for the right hours before I said anything. And has she? No. No, she hasn't. Now, you see, the trouble with working for family is that sometimes they think you're doing it as a favour. You're going to have to have a word. Yeah, I, I will. But don't you say anything. Yeah, is everything all right? Couldn't be better. Here, let me... And an orange juice for me, please, son. Don't worry, we'll get sorted. Listen, you're doing brilliant. You're nearly there, I reckon. You know, if you want to have another bash at standing up, I'm here, or I can't go get the nurse. Oh, Auntie Beth, I said I'm fine. I got stuck at work or something. You should probably be getting back. No, you're all right. Seriously. Anyway, I want to take a nap. Hmm. OK, if you're sure. You will get there, you know. it's been for me. What are we talking about, eh? Me having a pop at Emily Bishop or our relationship? You seem to think this is easy for me. No, no, I do not. I have never been embarrassed about our relationship, but I cannot bear even the way that you want me to. I'm a vicar. I've made a commitment to the church. Yeah, well, what about your commitment to me? I am committed to you. I, I just can't share that with the world out there. Well... I can't be a person that you put away in a box. Yes. Oh, they're so cool. That's right, little man. Can I try them on? Yeah, of course. If you want to die. <laughs> OK. Of course you don't. No scrum for me. I'm going out. All right. So, I think I've put my back out. Do you want some painkillers or something? I've already took some. You could, uh, help me with the chickens after, though. Help you? How? It won't take long. I'm just going for a shower and then I'll do it, OK? Mm. 
Ooh. All right. What's wrong with you? I don't like leaving you when you're like this. I'll take no notice. I'll be fine. All right. I really am sorry. I just... I don't want to lose my son, that's all. Yeah, I know that. And you're not going to. I promise. All right. See ya. See you later. Hey! What word for you? What do you think you're playing at? Sinead's been in the hospital bed waiting for you to turn up and you're here with your ex. No, it's not like that. Is Sinead all right? Well, if she was any sort of boyfriend, she'd have been there to see for yourself. No, she's not all right as it goes, you big lummox. <sighs> she tried to stand up and she couldn't do it. She needed you and you've let her down. Listen, I know our Sinead and she'll never ask if she needs help. But if you love her, you'll get your act together. I didn't know it was this expensive malt whiskey. Over 20 pounds a shot it cost, and there's me dishing it out for 250. I'm just naturally charming. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Uh -huh. So, uh, how are the troops? Yeah, fine. Don't seem fine. Oh, no, you've not been arguing with Chef again, have you? No, I told you everything's fine. I'll just go and check. Hey, what's going on? Uh, nothing. Look, I think we should go. Now they're back. This is ridiculous. She's been underpaid. She knows it's a mistake, but she feels awkward. Well, are you sure? Sure about what? You won't think she's been underpaid. Look, can we just leave it, please? It really doesn't matter. Your mum knows Leanne just made a nice mistake. Leanne didn't do the wages. I did. So if there's a mistake, it's mine. You should have called. I know. I'll ring tomorrow. Well, maybe if you explain. What are you two whispering about? Oh, it's time to mind his own business. Mind your own business. If you must know, I had an exam and I didn't go. You what? I forgot. How can you forget something that important? Look, she just forgot, all right? What's with all the questions? Well, excuse me for taking an interest. I'll win. What is it with you? Why can't you just leave? Is it? It's fine. I forgot because I've got so much other stuff on my mind, all right? I need to get Josie for home. Oh, no, I thought you were going to stay for your tea. Well, Anna, it's fine. I'm not hungry anyway. Hello? Hey, it's me. Ah, OK. It's Chez. You'll be able to sit your exam again, though, won't uh, you? Yeah, I think so. You all right? Daddy! You all right? There's something that I need to say. I mean, I think you should go to Portugal. Wow. I've thought about it. I've thought about what's right and what's best for you and for Joseph. Hang on, how can it be best for a kid to grow up without one of his parents? Uh, I don't think we want to go there, do you? I can see now it was all about me, what I wanted. I suppose I was worried that he'd forget me, or that he wouldn't love me. You know, I would never let that happen, Chez. People like us, we don't get too many chances to make a better life for ourselves. Look, she can have a good life around here, OK, amongst people who love her. Yeah. Look, oh. who, hang on, who love Joseph. All right, Owen, let him have his say. But what's happened to Sinead? Well, it's, it's made me realise you've got to take every opportunity, cos you never know what's around the corner. If going to Portugal, you know, is what you want, then you should go. I'm not going to stand in your way. With Joseph. Yeah. With Joseph. You have to be sure about this, Chess. I can't believe you'd do this for me. I'm doing it for both of you. What an adventure, eh? Thank you. And you know you can come and see him and we can come back here and... I know. You're making a big mistake, Barry. They're making a decision just because it's one you don't agree with. Night, mate. Tess, do you want him to come and stay with you tonight? Yeah, if that's all right. Yeah, of course. 
Well, I've got to go to the hospital first. All right, we'll just pick him up on your way back then. Honestly, he's been walking around with a face like a wet weekend. I know. But my interference doesn't seem to have had the desired effect. One to interchange, thanks, Barry. Let me ask you something. <clears throat> when we first got together, how did you think this would end? I didn't. What, so you never thought about how this relationship could work? No. <laughs> Sean, you were my big adventure. Ah, my big adventure. The last thing I wanted to think about was that it might have to end. Good answer. I, I understand your frustrations. I do. I, I share them. Do you? Yeah, of course I do. I've got to be sensitive towards my parishioners. Not everyone's like Emily, but that's not your problem. And I know it's asking a lot. It is my problem. I can't tell you the last time I felt this way about someone. And even though it's going to be really, really tough keeping my feelings under wraps, I just don't think I can give you up. Really? I felt so stupid. Yeah. I bet the fuzzy was totally wetting herself. But I should have been able to do it. Why? If you're not ready, you're not ready. But maybe I'll never be ready. Listen, if you're going to play a drama queen, I'm going to get some popcorn. You can't push these things. You have to listen to your body. You will do it when you're ready. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'd best be off. No, no, don't go on my account. No, it's fine. Places to go, people to see. Yeah, see you. How are you doing? All right. I bumped into Beth, or rather she shouted at me in the street. Mm. I'm really sorry I wasn't here. You didn't miss much. That's not the point. I should have been here. It won't happen again. Beth said you must have been busy at work or something. Sinead, I've got something to tell you. Well, it says here that we paid you for 14 hours. I thought that's what you did. Yes, it is. But I did a couple of extra hours. Don't you remember? Look, it, it really doesn't matter. I can't believe I forgot. I'm really sorry. No, don't be. I don't care. Yeah, but I do care. It's the first time I've done the wages since Leanne came back, and I can't be trusted to do that. Oh, Nick, don't overreact. It's a mistake, that's all. I forget things all the time. Yeah, not helpful. Look, I'll square it with Gail, and then we'll sort out the books later, OK? <laughs> Thank you. Let me check on the kitchen, if I can remember where it is. Oh, Nick, Gail, it'll be fine. I suppose we've got to expect a few setbacks. I mean, when you consider that head injury of his, he's done amazing. Right, little boy's room, and then I'm going to take you on. I'll make you a nice bit, OK? How about we go to the Rovers, eh? All right. Are you OK? Are you kidding me? Because of your lies, my son thinks he's losing the plot. Girl, I am so sorry. Well, don't be. I'm sick of hearing how sorry you are. Because of you, I've not only lied to Michael and my family, but now, for all I know, I've committed some kind of fraud. Did you manage to...? Yes. I've deleted his national insurance number and inserted yours. Gail, we do know how hard... No, you don't. And now? For all I know, I've made things ten times worse. So I don't think you've any idea. Ah, three of my favourite people. I'm sorry, but that's just weird. You can't be serious. Talk to them about what? They're quite like poetry, but really anything you like. Well, can't you do it? There's nothing wrong with your voice, is there? Believe me, I would if I could. <laughs> but I can't even manage the step let alone crouch down. What's it matter if you miss one day? I mean, the chickens. What will happen is they'll stop laying. Eh? When I started talking to them, that's when they started laying eggs. <sighs> but I don't get how you can just let a tech him. He's your son. Believe me, I don't need reminding of that. No, I know, but Chelsea, this can't just be about what Katie wants. It's not. I mean... 
How would she feel, right, if you turned around and said you wanted to move abroad with Joseph? Oh, it's different. How is it different? You're his parent as much as she is. But she's right. He'll have a good life over there. A sunny sky and having things is no substitute. It's not but... just about things. It's the quality of life. He can be outside more. He can learn the language, be bilingual. I just think it's for the best. Right now, with everything that's been... It's for the best. Cheers. I can't be responsible for you losing your son. You're not. Yeah, but if I wasn't like this, right, if you weren't running from pillar to post... It's the right thing for Joseph. He's still my son and I'm still his dad. It don't matter if he's in rainy Manchester or sunny Portugal, that won't change. The only way that you're responsible is that this has made me realise you never know what's going to happen. You have to grab every chance you can get. But... And you're my chance. However long it takes, I'm here for you, all right? No. You can't do it. And I can't let you out, can I? Nick, it was a simple mistake either of us could make. But that's not true, and you know it. Oh, well, maybe I should ask for a rise, then. You can, but I might forget to give it to you. Oh, for goodness sake, why don't you just let me take the payroll back? Because you've got enough to do. Well, why have the stress if you don't have to? <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing. It's quite an achievement. Oh, I'm taking a notice. Look, I just thought, if it would help, I'd be happy to take on the payroll. You? Yeah, I mean, I did it before, and quite enjoyed it, actually. I mean, like I said, if it helps. Well, what do you think? There's no pay rise. OK, yeah. Steph. Thanks. Here we go, ladies. There's yours you. and Emily's. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you, but there really was no need. Uh, yes, there was. Emily's just telling us about some fundraising ideas she's had. Well, the parents of a, a sick young girl in, in Billy's parish are trying to raise funds for a special piece of equipment that she needs, and I thought maybe we could help. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, we just we just need to think how. Mm. Mm. Uh, I wonder if a, a, a butler auction might be something. <laughs> well, I like your thinking, Emily. Yeah. Very risky. But what's the other auction when it's at home? Well, I've heard something about it on uh, morning television, but too risky for the church, <laughs> do we think? What is it? <laughs> I think we'll get away with it. No, I think it's a great idea. It's fun. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but maybe we should also consider something a little more traditional, oh. too. <laughs> well, how about a bring and buy? A grand idea. Sorry, can somebody just tell me what is a butler auction? Oh, Julie, you need to get out more, you. <laughs> anyway, Emily's the expert. Take it away. <laughs> just say something. You say something. Just do what he does. I don't know what he does. To enjoy poetry. Have you ever heard him recite poetry to him? And since when's he had a bad back? He knows. He knows. <sighs> you know. He knows. We were just trying to make you feel better about the chickens. Yeah. Dad, we're really sorry. Well, you'll be relieved to know there's no need to humour me any longer. And the chickens will be gone by the end of tomorrow. What? No, 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 this Friday's good. So, do I pick the tickets up from the airport, then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, then, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. I didn't realise you'd be going so soon. Don't see any reason not to, really. What's well, not? Well, nice to know we're not enough reasons to hang around. Next week or next month, it's not going to make it any easier, is it? No, but the point is, you don't have to go at all. No, Dad, I do. Because if I don't, I will always regret it. I know it's going to be hard. Trust me, it's going to be hard for me as well, leaving you and Izzy. Of course it is. I'll always be grateful, Anna, for 
for you taking me in as one as your own. I just want to get to know my real mum, that's all. Real mum? You know, that woman coming back into our lives is the worst thing that could have happened to our family. Well, maybe if she was allowed to come back sooner, I wouldn't be flying off to Portugal, would I? Katie, I'm asking you. Please don't go. I have to. She's going. And your grandson's going. And you've got no one to blame but yourself. And even though I won't see you every day, I'll be thinking about you. Wondering what you're up to. What new things you've learned. <laughs> I expect you'll be swimming soon. But any time you want to talk to me, yeah? I'll be there. Because you're the most precious thing in the world to me. Letting you go is the hardest thing I've ever done. You're part of me. Daddy. It's OK. I'm here, son. I'm here. A new case opens in our brand new series of DCI Banks Wednesday night at 9 here on ITV. Friday night and the final four celebrities face their toughest challenge to get to the final in new Bear Grylls Mission Survive at 9. Next, can Arthur Conan Doyle find peace and justice? The conclusion to our new drama, Arthur and George.